and welcome to Tech Talks. My name is Lisa and I'm the Digital Services Librarian at St. Albert Public Library. And today I'd like to show you a resource called Libby by Overdrive. It has eBooks and e-audiobooks. So the first thing you need to do is go to our website, www.sapl.ca, and you're going to click on eLibrary. So we'll just tap on that. There we go. And you can scroll down the page and Libby will be depending whether you're on a computer or on a mobile device like a tablet or a phone, it might be a little further down the page. And here it is right here. So I'm just going to tap on the more and I'm recording on an iPad. So this is gonna look a little different if you're on a computer or on a smartphone. There we go. So there's Libby by Overdrive. So in this case, I'm going to get the app because I have an Apple. So we're gonna tap on Libby by Overdrive Apple and I already have it on here. So we're just gonna tap on open so when you first put Libby on, now if you're using a tablet or a smartphone, you're gonna download the app, or if you're on a Windows 10 computer, it is compatible with Windows 10, so you will also put it on there as well if you want to read on your computer. So the first question it asks you is, do you have a library card? I'm gonna say, yes, I do. And let's see what it's asking. So we can search for the library or we can tell it to guess. So I'm gonna say, yes, guess my library. My guess is it will guess wrong, but we'll give it a shot. Yeah, so no, we don't want that. So we're gonna say no, keep looking. And say no, I'm going to search for my library. So we're gonna type in St. Albert. There we go. Public. Library. And search. And there it is right there. So you just tap on St. Albert Public Library. And now it recognizes that we have the library there. So the next step, it wants to say, enter your library account details. So if you already have a card, you're going to click on enter your library account details. If you would like a library card, definitely contact us at 780-459-1682 and we can help you with that. So we're gonna tap on enter library account details. So then this is where you would put your card number and that's the card that's number that starts with five twos. Don't put any spaces. Um, enter the whole thing with no spaces. So I'm gonna do that right now. So right now it's just thinking, it's checking to make sure everything's good. And there's the card. So we're gonna tap on next, which so shows you that you, I have two items checked out. You can check out up to 10 items at a time in Libby by Overdrive. And you can have a, up to 20 holes at one time. So we're gonna tap on next. And here we are. So this is the home page of Libby by Overdrive. And you can see there's a whole bunch of different collections you can look at and explore. There we go. This is one I wanted to show you down here. So there's all different genres. So if you are not sure what you want to read, you can explore the subjects and then you can filter down from there. So let's say you really like travel. If you tap on that, it's going to bring up things like travel. And on the, underneath where it says travel, it says 243 books and six audiobooks. So if you only want to read ebooks, you can just tap on the 243 ebooks and it will filter out the audiobooks. So we're going to go back to the main page of Libby. So you can see there's a whole bunch of collections. So you can definitely browse this way by looking. And I want to show you one little trick here on the top where it has the blue line running across where it says explore. If you tap on that, we have a collection called the eBestseller Express collection. They are seven days loan. You can't renew them and you can't place hold on, on them. They're the most popular titles. They are different than everything else in Libby by Overdrive. Every other title is 21 days is the loan and you might have to place a hold if someone has it out. But these eBestseller Expresses are seven days. So how do you find them? In Libby, it's a little bit trickier than in the regular Overdrive. You have to just go here and it's called skip the line in their language. There we are. So you can see they have a little clover shamrock next to them and that lets you know that those are seven day loans so that's how you find those and that's a good way to check if you're on hold and you're waiting a while for one of our popular titles check there because you might get it faster so let's just see how this works so i'm going to type in hmm which author should we do i'm going to do agatha christie so i'm searching by author right now there we go so it's pulling up lots lots of results we have three books and three audiobooks. So let's say I want the audiobook. So these little calendars beside the book, where it says place a hold right here, this will give you an idea of roughly 
how long it will be to receive the book if you place a hold on it. Now this is rough. It depends on um, many different factors that might change to your place in line. Otherwise, if it says borrow, let's just tap on the cover and there we can read the description of what the book is about. And you can even play a sample if you want to, to see what it sounds like or to read a bit of it. Because this is audio, it says play a sample. If it was an ebook, it would say uh, read a sample. And we can see that it's part of a series. So if we wanted it, we would just tap on borrow. We're not gonna do that this time though. So let's just pop back here. So that's how you search for a book. You can search by title, by author, by keyword, by subject, which is further down the page here. You can also search here under explore, under the guides, and don't forget about that skip the line. Those are the short term loans. And I just wanna show you how Libby works. So right now we're in the library view, which is on the very bottom there where it says library and it has a little Libby logo and shelf. So we're gonna tap on shelf. So this is where you go to find out what you have checked out and what you have on hold. So I can go under my loans and I can see I have two books. One's due in 18 days and one's due in 19 days. So this is where we would go to tap to open it. And you can see it keeps the menu along the bottom, but obviously you don't want to read with that. So you just tap in the middle if you're on an iPad. And there we go, so it's gone. So this to me, the font looks a little bit too big. So I'm gonna tap again, and the three little lines in the upper right, when I tap on those, I'm going to tap on reading settings. I don't like reading on the black and white, so I'm gonna change it to sepia. And I just move this box right here down, and you can see that it's making the font smaller. So I'm gonna say I'm done, and there we go. And now it's less, not nearly as big, so much easier to read. And you just turn it like a regular book. Now let's say I'm, I'm tired of this book, so we're gonna go back, and you can see I have two titles. Now, let's say I want to return it early. So you can do manage loan. You just tap on that little square that is turquoise and green, and you can tap on return early, and then that will let somebody else check it out. So that's how you do that. So that's what you can find under your loans. Under your holds, I don't have any at this time, but if you had a hold there, and that's actually, we'll stick a hold right now just so we can, we can see what this is gonna look like. I'm going to do Alexander McCall Smith. And let's find one to put a hold on. Uh, let's put a hold on this one right here. So we're gonna place a hold and it brings up to your card and you're going to say, it's saying about two weeks, roughly. Now that is a rough guesstimate. So we're gonna to go to shelf, holds, and there we go. So there is my hold. If I wanna know roughly how long I got, you can tap on that little calendar and it will give you a rest, a guesstimate. So when your hold is ready, you will be notified by the email that is on your library account that it is ready. Then you would go under your holds and then you would check it out. So it's fairly easy to do. Libby is all about one tap. So if you've used the old OverDrive app, this is a whole lot easier than the old OverDrive app. Exactly the same content, just much, much better. What else can we show you on here? So that is basically what you're gonna be using under loans and holds. And you can see there's what's on my loan shelf, actions. I don't typically use any of these. This will, Libby will only download when you're on Wi-Fi. If you have data, it won't download on the data unless you tell it to. And did you notice here at the bottom where it says library and shelf and it had the Libby logo? Because I opened a book, it will put the cover of the book, of the last book I opened in there. So it's a fast way to get to the book. So there we go, I just tapped it and now I'm in my book. So I'm gonna tap back to the library. So that's just a neat little trick that Libby does. Now we can see we got three notifications. So here is where I can see my library. And if we need help, there is Libby's help site. You can get some help right there and tap on it. And it will answer different questions. Here's where you can manage notifications. So if you don't want to get quite so many, you can get rid of that. Learn how to re-download. They have different things there depending on, depending on the day. They change it up a bit. So that is Libby. It's really, really easy to use. Lots of content on here for all ages, children, teens, adults. There's tons of content, both audiobooks and ebooks. So if you haven't tried Libby yet and you use a mobile device like a smartphone or a tablet or a Windows 10 computer, definitely check it out. 
and we'll see you next week on Tech Talks. Thank you.